Hello, my name is Felicia Hood and I'm a deputy with the Harris County Sheriff's Office. Today, I am here to familiarize you with the Harris County Joint Processing Center, or JPC for short. Starting this summer, law enforcement officers who currently utilize the Harris County IPC will begin booking their prisoners into the new state-of-the-art Joint Processing Center. This video will guide you through the process of booking and transferring custody of your prisoner into the JPC. The JPC is located on the north side of downtown Houston at 700 North San Jacinto Street with convenient access to Interstates 10, 45, and 69. Officers will enter the JPC Sally Port by turning on the north side of the building on Allen Street. Upon arrival, the Sally Port doors will open and you will park in one of 50 designated parking spaces in the garage. The Sally Port is designed so that officers will enter off of Allen Street and exit onto Baker Street. If you have not placed all of your prisoner's property in a clear secure pack, please do so at this time. Bags will also be available inside the JPC if needed. It is recommended that you do not seal the property bag until you are at the intake counter. No weapons are allowed inside the JPC. When you exit your patrol vehicle, you will escort your prisoner to the entrance where you will lock all of your weapons into a secure locker, taking the key with you. After your weapons are secure, you will enter the main door through a security vestibule and then to the search area where you will be greeted by a Harris County Detention Officer. The Detention Officer will search your prisoner for weapons and contraband. Any property or contraband found during the search will be the responsibility of the arresting officer. After your prisoner has been searched, you will then proceed to the intake area to start your registration. The intake area has officer registration workstations and prisoner seating area. Holding cells are available for combative or uncooperative prisoners. Once you are at your registration terminal, you will enter the generic username and password posted on each computer. After entering arresting officer information, you will first be prompted to complete a two-finger scan on your prisoner. For the two-finger scan, select the check boxes corresponding to the fingers to be scanned. Right and left index fingers are preferred. Have the prisoner place fingers simultaneously on the scanner and click OK to submit. The two-finger scan will check against the Harris County's APHIS database and, if there is a hit, the system will return the prisoner's name and identifying numbers. The two-finger scan process should only take approximately 15 seconds. After the two-finger scan is complete, you have the option of having your prisoner sit in the prisoner seating area or stay with you. You will now complete all required registration fields regarding prisoner information. This includes information regarding charges and property. After reviewing all registration information entered, select Submit Registration to complete the process. Select print this registration as you will need the registration number for the cash kiosk and intake. There are cash kiosks similar to an ATM machine adjacent to the officer registration workstations. At the kiosk, you will enter the registration number located on the receipt you just printed. Then deposit any money, coins, and dollar bills the prisoner has in his possession into the cash kiosk station. It is important to note that you must visit the cash kiosk and obtain a receipt whether or not the prisoner has any money. Three receipts will be printed, one for the arresting officer, one for the prisoner, and one will be placed inside the secure pack. Do not seal the secure pack until you are at the intake counter. The final step is for the arresting officer and prisoner to proceed to the intake counter for transfer of custody. At the intake counter, the intake officer will review the registration and conduct the required health screening questionnaire. If the prisoner expresses health concerns, they will be referred to the medical screening area to be assessed. Medical staff has the ability to accept or reject the prisoner. Once cleared by medical staff, the intake officer will continue reviewing the registration and confirm that money was deposited into the cash kiosk and property inventory by the arresting officer. 
the intake officer will have the arresting officer and prisoner electronically signed, validating the property inventory and cash deposit are recorded accurately. After signatures have been captured, transfer of custody is complete and the officer is free to leave. A triage diversion desk is located in the intake area adjacent to the intake counter. Low-level offenders, such as trespassers with psychosocial problems that are directly related to the offense, may be referred to the triage diversion desk for a brief evaluation. The offender may be diverted to the psychosocial services if the arresting officer and assistant district attorney agree diversion is the more appropriate option. Registration, intake, and transfer of custody process should take no more than 15 to 20 minutes. When the JPC opens, there will be Harris County staff available to answer questions and ensure each step of the process goes smoothly. Don't forget to grab your weapons out of the locker on your way out of the facility. Thank you for your attention and as always, please stay safe.